Hi, this is a lecture on VPC connector. So what is a VPC connector? A VPC connector enables you to connect from a serverless environment like, for example, a cloud function or Google Cloud to your particular VPC directly. So let us look at it diagrammatically. So let's assume you have a project and that project has a VPC and you have, let's assume, two regions and these two regions have two virtual machines with just a private IP address. Now let's assume that you have a few serverless components, let's say like a cloud function or an app engine. Now how do you connect your cloud function or an app engine to your private IP address? To do that you actually need to create something called as a serverless VPC connector and using that you can actually connect directly to your virtual machines in any regions of that particular VPC. The only thing that you need to take care of is that the service, the serverless VPC connector that you create and the cloud function or the serverless component that you create, they should both be residing within the same region. So let's have a look at an example and let's see how it works. So going back to the console, I have created a cloud virtual machine instance and it has an IP, internal IP address. So let me just log into this. So in this particular virtual machine, I have created a very basic Node.js Hello World application. It basically just returns a Hello World. So let me just run this. So I have run this particular app.js. So the next thing I need to do is I need to access this using the internal IP address. It resides in this particular networks. So for this, I have created a basic cloud function. So what this cloud function does is it just gets that particular endpoint and returns it back to the user. So if you go to the source, you'll see that it just requests, requests this particular page from this particular port and sends the body back to the user. So to make this work, the thing that we need to do is we need to create a serverless VPC access and that has to be put into this particular cloud function. So let's create that serverless VPC access. So let me just click on. So let's create the serverless VPC access. You can just give a name. The region is important. It should reside within the same region where the cloud function resides. So the cloud function is in US East one. So I'll just give that same here. And the network to which it's trying to communicate the function. So it's basically my first VPC. The virtual machine that we created is in this particular VPC. And the CIDR block you can give as 10.8.0.0. So this can be any CIDR as long as it's not already taken. So sorry, it should be zero. It's mentioned in this particular note here. And that's about it. Let me just click on create. So once the connector is created, I need to link this to the cloud function that I just created. So I'll just copy this and I'll go back to my cloud function and I'll edit it. Here in the advanced settings, you need to go to the connections tab and you need to give the connector here. And that's it. You can just click on next and deploy it once more. So once it has been deployed, let us test this and see whether it works. So I'll just open this. I'll click on testing. Let's just test this function. And you can see that it returns back the hello world as the output. And that's how you basically connect your Lambda or your, I'm sorry, your cloud function or any of your serverless components to your VPC. I hope this was useful and uh, please get in touch with me if you have any issues. Thank you.